hey Butch, you know, we're not playing well. We haven't played well in the second half. We haven't put it all together. You know, these guys have a supreme confidence that, you know, a couple of days before the playoff starts, they're going to they're gonna turn it on. They're going to mm -hmm. turn it on off switch to the on position, and they're going to be ready to go. Not a great comfort level for me to watch. Not a great comfort level for Butch to watch. So why have we not done so well? You know, we lost our middle infield. Pitchers lose confidence in the infield. It affects everybody. So you have these conflicts that, that build between pitchers and position players all the time. When you lose your middle infield as a pitcher, that wears at you. And guys may not talk about it to each other, but there's an animosity that starts to develop when the breaks don't go your way or you're not getting the support that you're used to having. A pitcher is only as good as his position players. Billy Johnson kept looking for infielders who could get them to the championship. He struck gold in Mexico and began the process to bring up Price shortstop and Major League veteran Andujar Cedeno. But this process bogged down, and each day for more than a month, the paperwork stalled Cedeno and galled Johnson. You feel bad for the manager, you know, because Butch has got to improvise for, in this case, four, to four or five weeks with that, with that big hole in the middle infield. And you feel bad, and you have to go in there every day, and, and he has to ask you, hey, is Cedeno's visa work get done? No, it's not done yet, you know. Meanwhile, you're just watching him bleed from every orifice, you know, and, and there's nothing you can do. You don't have a Band-Aid for him. You gave me the wrong answer. Yeah, you did. So you gave me the wrong No, you didn't. No, you didn't. He turned around. That's when you made the call. No, you didn't. You were undecided on what you wanted to do. Horse crap. You were decided on what you wanted to do. That's fine. Just get the call right. That's right. Just get the call right. Just get the call right. No, you didn't get it right. You waited. You waited till he turned around. Then you made it. Yes, exactly what you did. That's exactly what you did. Don't bump me. Yes, you did. Don't you bump me. Yes, you did. But don't step in between. You didn't get the call right. You waited till he turned around. Part crap. You waited till. I'm not. You get him off my face. You get him out of my face right here. You get him out of my face. Horse manure. Let's go, bro. the call up. Despite Butch's fervor, the pride continued to slump. The Titanic, that's what it is. Slowly but surely going down. Country boy catcher Chad Epperson worried his way to the playoffs. Our first baseman DJ Boston saw the bumps of the road as part of the game's basic roadmap. A little bunch of veterans, you know what it takes. It's just one of those times where we just go through a little slump right now. You know, it's a good thing everybody's slumping at the same time, so when it, once the person gets started, it's all going to click together. We'll be all right. Hey. What's up, boo? What's up? What are you doing? Oh, uh, okay. I'm calling. Make sure uh, you was all right. And I want to let you know I love you. Third baseman Pork Chop Pew called his daughter before each game and put out a more upbeat game face. Yeah? Would you like me to hit your home run tonight? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to make sure I do that for you, all right? See, today in chapel, we were talking about finishing things, finishing what you started, how people start these marriages and they get broke up, how people start diets and they break them up. You know, they give up on them, and it's just just like baseball. You start a game, you're going to finish that game, and your reward will come if you keep being persistent. The manager for a lot, he says he wants him here. He says he'll talk to the owner. He thinks it's a great opportunity for him to be here. He was hit 300, he had 42 stone bases, he said he did a hell of a job at shortstop and second base. While waiting for Cedeno, they found James Lofton, a young scrappy utility player working for a Western League team out in Washington. Go, 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 At second base now we have James Lofton, who we got from the Western League, who, uh, who may be one of our, we've had a couple prospects in this league. This isn't a real big prospect league because most of the experience is on the back side of the card than the front side. But J-Lo is interesting because he's 25 years old and uh, he's been in, indep in independent ball in the Western League for the last couple of years. And he came to, came to town and this is a guy that immediately you recognize has skills, has some real skills. And, and Butch will tell you that he's got a lot to learn about playing the infield, but he's a very teachable young man. We have uh, guys here who can help me with certain things that I need help on. Uh, that's been around, you know, guys that's, you know, the same type of players I am that's in the big leagues now, so they can help me on that point. But um, Actually, I think Butch will help me out a lot. You know, I guess he has a lot of connections and stuff, and he'll let me know what I need to do to get where I need to be. Deserve to win. Well, I went out to get a couple of pictures last couple of days. And um, may have overpaid, but 
it's not about what they're making, it's about giving us a chance to finish it, you know? It's about, it's about them going someplace else and us diminishing our chances for you guys who have been here you're all, all year to get a ring, or it's about us doing whatever it takes to get them here so we can go ahead and get you guys a ring. Billy signed pitcher Ned Darley, who had close ties to the prize, starting with the fact that he grew up in South Carolina with Glenn Murray and played on the Washington team with James Lofton. With uh, the National Pride, I can chip in as a relief pitcher, do whatever, pitch short, long, whatever I can do, whatever is needed. And I'm glad to be here. I feel welcome with all, a lot of my friends, a lot of ex-teammates. It's good to be reunited with them, but it's good to be on a winning ball club. So Daniel should be here any day. We're waiting on visas. And then the visa, they had a, it's all been applied for. The visa needs a certification number, and once we get the number, then we can buy him a flight. And he's, here. he's ready to go. Finally, a week before the regular season ended, Anu Harsha Danu arrived, took over the shortstop position, showed his big league skills, and helped the pride rebound. So Daniel was a shortstop in the big leagues, and then it was it was a supposed to be a superstar. Good man, works hard, is really having fun here. But sadly. His contribution would be brief.